thefootballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2012 NFL Draft Grade Special. We're looking at the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's go back and look at their draft selections to see how well they did this past April. The Chiefs came into this draft wanting to get better on both sides of the line of scrimmage and they were able to accomplish that. You look at the selections they made throughout the draft, a lot of quality guys, a lot of key impact players. Now what I like most about the Chiefs draft, beefing up the offensive line. We talked about that earlier. These guys got quality depth behind the front line starters. They, brought, they already brought in a guy in Eric Winston from the Texans, but you bring in guys like Jeff Allen, Donald Stevenson. These guys will do a great job providing that quality depth to help power that running game and keep Matt Castle well protected. Also, look at a guy like Cyrus Gray. I had this guy rated high as a second round grade. They got him way down at the end of the draft. This guy has that Kendall Hunter like suddenness, and they're going to love him in Kansas City. This guy's going to provide a lot of spark in the return game and also catching the football out of the backfield. I also like Junior Hemingway out of Michigan. This guy has great football skill. When you talk about a good football player, he's a good football player. May not do one thing to wow you, but he does everything very well. Something that they need in the Chiefs receiving core, consistency, and Junior Hemingway will be a perfect asset to that passing game. Now, what I didn't like about the Chiefs draft, I wouldn't have taken Don Terry Poe that high in the first round. You need an impact guy when you're picking in the first round, especially that high. I think Poe is a guy that's a serviceable second, third round type of talent. They drafted a guy last year, Jarrell Poe, same type of talent, same type of guy. I need to see more production out of Don Terry Poe, and he's going to get pushed early to be that guy, and I don't know if he can do so. An undrafted free agent that has a legitimate shot to make the roster. I look at this guy, Nate Eaches, out of Colgate. Chiefs fans, hear me out. This guy, you will fall in love with him. All he does is gain yards, runs downhill, runs with a purpose. Reminds me a lot of Toby Gerhardt. Not because he's white, because he has a similar running style and powers through tacklers. You will love him out there in Kansas City. I give the Chiefs a B- minus for their draft grade. I love what they were able to do on the offensive line, getting two guys that are going to provide quality depth and may end up seeing some starting duties later on in the season. And I also like the Cyrus Gray and Junior Hemingway pick to help out the offense and provide more explosiveness out of the backfield and on the flanks. It all falls on the shoulders of Matt Castle. Can he make the necessary improvements? But the Chiefs' defense is one to be reckoned with. I think they're going to be a force in the AFC West, provided they stay healthy throughout the season. I want to send a huge shout out to these Chiefs fan sites for always showing football game plan support.